Hello everyone. Today I and Pratim are going to this pan Asian restaurant called Kinzai and uh, I hope I am pronouncing it correctly. So we are taking you along with us for another slurpy story. Hope you all like it. Today we are heading to a place called New Bell Road in Bangalore and we would be dining in a restaurant called uh, Kenzai. It's a pan-Asian restaurant and there I'll be meeting my childhood best friend Vishwajit. I'll be meeting him after two years. He's back from Luxembourg. So really excited. New Bell Road is like 30 kilometers from where I stay in Bangalore. It's quite a long drive. But then again, I'm meeting Vishwajit after two long years. So was really looking forward to it. With most of us still working from home, we didn't have to face the usual traffic that we face on the outer ring road. And we reached New Bell Road in just about an hour's time. So both Vishwajit and I were binging on biryani for the last three days and we had to try something different. So Asian it was. We looked up a place in Zomato and we found Kenzai which is rated 4.2 stars in terms of a dining experience. Kenzai in Japanese means to be in good health, to have vitality. This restaurant claims to serve food from different parts of Asia and that they use a lot of fresh ingredients. The moment you enter the restaurant, the first thing that will catch your attention is the interiors. The use of wood and the decor on the walls gives you a hint of a Japanese inspiration. The ambience in the restaurant is quite soothing. The lights aren't too bright and it's the kind of setting that you would want when you are catching up with an old friend. And if you are lucky, you might as well get a seating with a view. We started with a Japanese miso soup that had tofu and wakame in it. The umami flavors were quite strong, it was salty, but I wish it was a bit more pungent. We then had uh, chicken and coriander dumplings. <laughs> so we are just done with the miso soup and the dumplings are here. It was a complete curry night for us. I ordered for a Thai Masaman curry that had strong flavors of coconut, a mild kick of the spices and a hint of coriander in it. Bishwajit ordered for a milder Laotian curry that had basil and bamboo shoots. We were a bit disappointed by the Korean Dakto Ritang that Himantri ordered. The flavors were just not there and the soy sauce was kind of overpowering. However, the staff was very courteous and we were happy with the service that they had provided. The three of us had a great time together and it was an evening spent well.